Gray is the newest brawler coming to Brawl Stars, and today I'm going to show you exclusive information about him, gameplay about him, his star powers, his gadgets, his attacks, his super, literally everything you might ever want about Gray. Starting with his animation, which you can see right here, he uh, does a little dance, and uh, yeah, he's uh, pretty cool. Here are all of his stats at level 1. Keep in mind, this is level 1. I'm also going to show you max level, but here are the beginning stats. He seems pretty weak at level 1, but once you get him higher up, he gets some really cool stuff. And here here are his stats at max level, almost 5,000 health, almost 1,800 damage, long range, all that cool stuff. Now let's move into his other abilities. First of all, we got his uh, main attack. It's pretty weird. Like, it, it makes no sound and it kind of just goes. Like, it just spawns a line, it goes forward, and then it ends up with like the little sign that pops up at the end. Also, all of his sound effects are just his voice, which is incredible because that was like one of my first videos that actually popped off. So I just want you to listen to this real quick. Pew. It's great. I love it. <laughs> Either way, his super, you can only shoot it at maximum range. As you can see right here, I can only put it max range. But when you use it, you just teleport. And then it has a few seconds to reset. And then it's immediately ready. Like, it's ready that quickly to use again. It makes some pretty wonky sound effects, but I think that they're kind of funny. It's like cartoon sound effects. You could just keep using this portal, though. And, you know, granted, it's not a big area that you can move, but it's still pretty good. And obviously, with that much utility, you got to nerf him in some way. So he doesn't have, like, crazy crazy damage. It's basically like you're playing Jesse without her turret and without the splash. So he has pretty weak attacks, but he makes up for that with insane utility using the portal. His first gadget is called walking cane. His next main attack pulls his enemies to him, which I don't know how useful that would be for him, but yeah, you can do that. And his first star power is called fake injury. When gray is at full HP, his next source of damage is reduced by 25%. It's kind of like Fang's star power, but a little bit different. So if we go into a game right here, we pop the gadget, then we can pull him in just a little bit. It's nothing great, but you can do that. Again, I don't really see why you would want to do this as gray because, you know, he has low damage and medium health. The only thing I could see it being used for is like a little bit of utility, like where you pull somebody in and then your team can deal with them. That's about it. But besides that, yeah, I don't think that gadget is a great choice. The star power, however, if I'm at full HP and then I get hit, I take less damage. That's all it is. So I have to go back to full HP. My next source of damage is cut into a fourth. So that could be good if you're fighting a piper or something. But besides that, I don't know. His other gadget is a more interesting one in my opinion. It's called Grand Piano. And wherever his next attack lands, a giant piano lands on the ground after it. So yeah, that's going to be pretty fun. And his second star power is called New Perspective. When Gray or his allies use his doors, they recover 1,000 hit points. I think this one is going to be way better. And I also think that this gadget is going to be way better. I'm going to make a piano fall from the sky. Look at how big that is. Boom. That's like El Primo's gadget, but just way better. Are you seeing this? Can you put it anywhere? This might be like the most insane wall break gadget in the entire game. Look at this. That's crazy. Wait, no, 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 no. That's just better than El Primo's asteroid belt. You can put it wherever you want. Look at how big that is. They might nerf that. Look Boom. at that. I don't want them to nerf it, but they might. That's just huge. Now we can test the uh, star power where if I get hit a bit and boom, recover 1000 health. Something I want to test is if I use it, do I instantly regain 1k health? Let's find out. All right. So I'm at 1900. Boom. You insta heal. Yo, he's going to be pretty good at surviving with this combo. I'm hopping into a practice match. I don't know how well this is gonna go, but I'm gonna try to use the wall break. I'm gonna try to use the healing. Let's see how big this is. Look how crazy it is. Oh, it does so much damage. Wait, they just got destroyed. Wait, what is this? Look at this, dude. I can just put another one down. It's gonna break all of their walls. Boom. They have no walls. Wait, this is crazy. That's actually an insane gadget. That's gonna be insane. What if I put this here? Oh, wow. Okay, don't do that. Don't teleport straight in. I forgot it was instant. You would probably want to put your portal, like, from your spawn into somewhere else. That could be good. Then again, the enemies could camp it. So, you, you kind of got to be good at placing your portals. There's going to be some crazy, like, meta placements for his portals, though. I can already see it coming. So, let's see how his shots work. Like, if people are trying to dodge it, like, how easy is it to hit somebody? Look at this map. Oh, my goodness. Wait, this looks so cool. I actually love this map. Yeah, his damage is pretty low. If you're fighting somebody like Anita, it's going to be a little tough. He has, like, no sustain when it comes to just winning 1v1s. Until you go sweat mode, and then you go in with the portal. Boom, and kill him. Oh, that's gonna be so good. That's gonna be amazing. Let me put another piano on the ground. When the piano's going, I leave. Wait, my teammate used the thing. No, how dare you? I can just leave. There we go. And he's dead. Wait, this is kind of cool. I actually really like this. It's It feels kind of, like, weak with his shots, but... 
he's fun. He's definitely not going to be a good solo brawler. He's going to be like good at running away. But besides that, he's not going to be good at actually like fighting people. It's kind of hard to land his shots and they also just don't do that much damage. They're very thin. That's what I found out. I just want to throw a piano on her. So yeah, have fun running away. Oh, she ran away, but she died. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. This is crazy. Look at this. And now you can just teleport away. You can finesse people. You can finesse people so hard. Okay, Bruce, you're being annoying. I'm out of here. I heal 1k and I am out. Get out of here, Anita. Get out of here. She's one HP. Go get her. Yeah, let's go. I'm just going to teleport up here. And I kill the Shelly. Wait, where are you? Oh, I'm dead. Wait, Bruce. Don't do it. Bruce, I can't deal with you. I can't deal. Oh. Kill the Anita. She's so hard to hit. Kill the Barley. Get him. Yes. Uh-oh. Oh, get her. Oh, it's so thin. His shots are extremely thin. Okay, let's say you're playing gem grab. You got all the gems. The team is coming at you. Teleport. Boom. And you're safe. It's that easy. That's actually going to be really good for gem grab. Maybe he'll be a good gem carrier. That's everything about Gray. Subscribe and I'll see you later.